Scott Decker is a professor for the School of Criminology and Criminal Justice at Arizona State University. Uh, Scott Decker, thank you so much for joining us. Really interested in your input on this one. Good morning. This is a real challenge for law enforcement at every level. Um, and it illustrates the role of technology in the change in crime, how offenders are organized, but equally important about how we can go after them successfully. I was really encouraged to see that first arrest be made because quite often this is like a hole in a dam that starts with a pin prick and a very slow uh, drip, drip, drip of water. And that hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger as uh, prosecutors and police uh, work cases, move backward to other contacts and expand the scope of their uh, of their work. You know, I feel like accountability is so important. I wanted to ask, in your opinion, why are we seeing such a dramatic increase in retail theft across the country? I, I think it has something to do certainly with the economy, but these kinds of crimes are very different. Uh, they're disorganized crimes, they're disorganized criminals, and quite often we're set up uh, to go after a, a pyramid-shaped organization with someone at the top who gives orders to the next level, and then there's the foot soldiers. These seem to be recruited uh, through technology, and what that suggests is if technology is part of the problem, it can also be a uh, part of the solution. Uh, I, I know that the task force will look at uh, many forms of technology, body-worn cameras, license plate readers. Uh, if they're not installed at the malls now, they should be installed uh, and they enable law enforcement to follow the movement of traffic and cars, uh, scans for goods, fixed level cameras and i think one of the other technological resources and and where better uh, than california and los angeles uh, to use artificial intelligence to create leads and suggest how these uh, individuals communicate with each other so retail thefts have cost stores around 86 billion dollars per year i know you know that um, this uh, deterrent is a little bit more basic stores now resorting to placing essential items behind locked glass how effective do you think this method is in deterring shoplifters i think i think you you point to the important uh strategy and that's the deterrent strategy clearly we need to catch these individuals clearly they need to be uh, dealt with appropriately by the criminal justice system but it's also the case that uh, a visually disinviting hostile site which has the irony of perhaps discouraging legitimate customers um, is an important part of this as well. In the old days, entry to jewelry stores used to be a, a double lock door, uh, limiting the number of customers in the shop at one time. Things like that are uh, probably worth taking a look at. Um, and and I, But I think that um, the mayor did the right thing with the task force. It clearly needs to involve all levels of prosecution uh, and uh, law enforcement. And I, I also think that, um, and I, I was just in DC uh, looking at law enforcement issues last week, the uh, resource of law enforcement officers in Los Angeles and in California and the West generally is much lower than the Midwest and the East Coast. And some look needs to be given uh, to how Los Angeles and other California departments can increase the number of officers. That basic number of officers is a real important step in deterrence, uh, but also in intervention to identify and arrest these individuals. Absolutely, back to that accountability piece. All right, Scott Decker, thank you so much. Sure. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.